Hello and today you find me at Sittingbourne where I'm about to join this class 375 unit on its way up to Sheerness on Sea as I'm going to revisit the Swale Rail Line to see if there's been any changes since I last went up the line. So come with me and let's see what we can find. Okay, here at Kemsley there's not really much to say, not really much has changed since I last visited but it's still a very well kept station. This construction here was designed by and constructed by Sheppey College students in association with the Kent Community Rail Partnership and it aimed to represent the five stations along the Swale Rail Line. Unfortunately at the moment this is all really that exists of it. This is a representation of the uh, Sheppey Bridge which uh, we shall see a little bit later on down the line at Swale. On that the uh, triple bridges there, one's a uh, a pedestrian bridge that doesn't connect with the station. This one obviously connects the two platforms and there's a road bridge just alongside there. The line then sweeps around a small curve on that side towards uh, Sittingbourne and this way is towards uh, Sheerness. There's the usual uh, ticketing machine, electronic ticketing machine and help points as this station is not manned. There are a few rudimentary shelters there's not really too much to say about this apart from it does its purpose, it serves the community. And that's really what this rail line is all about, serving the community up to Sheppey. So let's hop on a train and transport ourselves to Swale. Okay then, here at Swale, uh, I came here last time, it was a little bit run down, a little bit barren, not much to look at. A lot has changed since uh, since then, the last two years. And that change has been, and there's been some murals put up along the platform, which I'm going to show you at the moment. These murals were created by artist Graham Upton, based on ideas from Kent Community Rail Partnership and students from Sheppey College. The murals at Swale Halt highlight places to visit along the Swale Rail Line, and that rail trail is accessible for everyone. It was funded by Swale Borough Councillors, Cameron Beard and Steve Davey, Kent County Councillor John Wright, and then was match funded by Kent Community Rail Partnership and the Community Rail Network in October 2022. At time of filming, the station is now not the least used station in Kent, but it still isn't very well used. There isn't really much you can do from this station. Another thing to note on this station now is that it has got a defibrillator. Very nice to see these appearing all over the network. They can be a real lifesavers. But the one thing about this station I would say is this view here. This view up to the old Kings Ferry Bridge can get some very, very good um, photographs and videos of all the uh, rolling stock coming up and down the line. So now let's uh, continue our journey up the line to Queenborough.
uh, track layout here at Coimbra is actually quite interesting as well, as you can see. Going into the distance there, lots and lots of turnouts. There is, of course, a lot of tracks as you go further around, which I'll try and video for you on the train, which take you off into the various dock sides or used to take over into the dock side. There's not so much anymore. I, in fact, I don't even think any of it's used anymore, but the tr tracks are still in situ. Some of them are a bit overgrown, and in fact, even a couple of them have been taken up. However, it's quite interesting to see some of the area here has been pre-ballasted. But overall, uh, this is one of the interesting places and probably quite a good place to get uh, an interesting shot of a train coming in, especially if there's a special coming up and down the line or an engineering train. You can get quite a good view here from the sweeping curves going down. And the station building itself since the last year has had a, a lick of paint ap applied to it. However, I'm a little bit disappointed to see that the murals have, have finally succumbed to the, uh, the normal white paint. I was hoping that those were going to be replaced at some point, but it uh, looks to me as though they're not going to be, which is a bit of a shame. But it looks clean and tidy, it looks uh, presentable, and I must admit the lick of paint has made the station building look very nice indeed. So welcome to Sheerness on Sea. The station has had a radical change since I last came here. The uh, roofing here has all been replaced and it's nice to see that they've taken care of all the pillars and decorative items on the station. There's been some other things that have been put as well. Let's just have a little look around the platforms. And especially here, you'll see this nice mural, which I'm about to show you now, which it was done in 2022. That's the uh, 375 unit departs to Sittingbourne. We continue our trek down this side of the platform. One thing of note here at Sittingbourne is spin us round here. There is still a two track operation here. Um, sorry, there are still two tracks here. Uh, one of them's not that often in operation, but when you do have specials or um, there are some engineering trains, they will use that track just to keep out of the way of the uh, normal services. Other thing to note, another defibrillator just there. And this was here last time I came as well, but it's worthwhile sharing again. There's been one other change which I'm just going to show you outside of the station building, which does brighten it up a little bit. After leaving the station and crossing the road, you'll find yourself at the entrance to a park. It's here that you'll find some information about Sheerness on these two placards, which are on the entrance. Well worth having a read. And a short walk down from that entrance to the park, down the high street, will give you to the recently refurbished clock tower, which looks absolutely fantastic. It's a great job, it's been done here, and a credit to everyone who got involved.
also one of the main reasons for coming to a place like Sheerness on Sea is of course to be near the seaside and of course even though it's a pebbly beach on a nice warm day can be quite inviting and indeed quite relaxing to be by the seaside. It's nice to know they've got a sense of humour here in Sheerness. Um, this mural here is, looks fairly innocent. Yeah. But in fact, when you look closely, it's actually got the SS Montgomery on it. And that was the reason why it says you'll have a blast. This ship is in the estuary and it's still full of munitions and is, uh, well, they're always checking on it just in case it does explode and it'll be a, a rather large explosion if it does happen. Okay, as the train now comes into Sheerness on Sea, that uh, finishes my little trip up and down the Swale Rail line today. Uh, a lot has changed in the last two years, still only a one hour train service, but that seems to be quite reasonable for the amount of people who do get on and off the train. Also, there's a few uh, extra ones during the peak time. So if you've enjoyed this video, then please like, comment and subscribe. And if you can, get out there, get on the railway and see where it takes you. Thanks very much for watching.